1965 Roosevelt dime was found in our coin shop change. What's so special about this 1965 dime? Stay tuned to find out. First, if you find a mint error or have a question about coins or a question about just coins in general, come over here to Coin Help You Community, post an image, and ask your question over here. If you're interested in buying coins, we have a website, PortsmouthCoinShop.com. We have all kinds of graded coins and ungraded coins, mint sets, proof sets, 90% silver, silver eagles, and just type coins. So if you get a chance, come over to PortsmouthCoinShop.com. All right. So Andy was going through our change. He was counting and rolling it up. And the next thing you know, he's like, hold on. Hey, take a look at this. What is this? Is this something? And the clue is right here. It's almost like a hinge. Some of you already know what this is. Now this is right here by the ear to the rim. It's a scratch. It's not a die crack or anything. It's just a scratch. It's in cuse into the coin surface. So it's been scratched. Someone's messed with it because of the fact this coin was, they noticed something different. Now, what they often call this is a clamshell. And it is a mint error. And it's basically impurities caused it to separate from the cladding. Now, it's hard to see inside, but when you're looking at these, you don't want to see a smooth surface inside here. You want to see like a wood grain. You want to see unevenness. I'm trying to show it in the video here. It's kind of difficult to see. But if you see something like this and it's smooth inside, that means somebody took some type of rotary tool or some type of jeweler's tool and they actually cut it. Well, this has not been cut. They'll often be bent because someone opened it up, obviously, because you can, it's kind of springy. It has like a hinge effect. And so you know that when you're looking at these, that's what you want to look for. So something like this, it's not extremely rare. Obviously it's circulated and damaged. It's probably worth 10 bucks, but who doesn't want to find dimes that are worth $10? And the one thing about it is that a lot of people will see things different and they don't really know what to call it. Now there's a lot of mixed up terminologies in this business. So you really need to do some research and keep up on what's, what things are called. There's a good article over here called uh, it's called clamshell splits and clamshell separations, and they are unrelated because they happen different ways. They're all caused by impurities, but split planchets and clamshells and things like that have a little different cause. So this one's over on Coin World. I recommend just Coin World and type in clamshell splits. This is written by Mike Diamond. He's one of the authors of error-ref.com. He's one of the well-known experts in the field to help clarify the, the finer details of what causes these mint errors and if they are mint errors or not. Uh, you can actually email him through uh, error-ref.com. But anyway, yeah, I, I recommend coming over here and reading this so that you know the differences. Uh, basically, when you have you know a split planchet or some type of clamshell split, you're looking at solid alloy coins like this nickel. And all of these are related to laminations because it's caused by impurities. Where like laminations look like metals just flaking off of it, you know, like fish scales, uneven fish scales. And the deeper it goes into the impurities, into the planchet, it can cause, you know, split planchets and things like clamshells and things like that. They're not exactly alike, don't get me wrong, but it's all related to having impurity somewhere that causes them to split or, you know, peel, things like that. Also, you can come over to Google and do a quick search of clamshell mint error coins and, or mint error coin, and you can see all the different ones that are actually graded that will help you understand what you have. Because there's a lot of examples, but the one thing about it is you want to find graded examples if you can and reputable websites, because there's a lot of misinformation out there and confusing information and people using different terminologies for these and appropriate terminologies for these. So therefore you want to do research. You want to go over to coin help you and you can post an image. We could do our best to try to explain it to you or help you with it, but it's, it's really cool. So we found something decent in our pocket change over here at the Porsche coin and currency company. <laughs> So thanks for watching my latest video. Hopefully you, maybe you'll find something to change like this because it is 
pretty cool to find something in your change that is actually a mint error that people have passed up. I mean, 1965, this has been out in circulation for a while. People have ignored it. And finally, it ended up in our coin shop. So thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.